All right, hello advanced challengers. We're going to focus on the G minor scale today and the B flat major scale, two octaves for both, because catharsis is in the key of G minor. So we're really focusing on placement and I was really excited to get a lot of recordings from everybody um, and it gave me an idea where we're starting out for week one. What we really want to um, make our focus even obsession is our finger placement and where we should be sitting with these fingers so that every time we play catharsis we're in tune and really our finger placement looks like this we have a huge huge stretch between our E flat F natural G natural etc etc so you're gonna feel like you're stretching all right so let's start first with B flat major we're going to run two octaves from low two on the G string up to flat four on the E string when you're playing it I would like you to call out your note names, <coughs> excuse me, so that you're becoming really focused and aware of what note you're playing and the direction you're going, the spacing between your notes and what it should sound like. So here we go, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, flat four, E flat. F natural, G, A, B flat. So at the top of the scale, three on A and three on E have a close together fourth finger. So they're touching. So make sure you get that relationship in there, the semitone. When you go to the, the D string and the G, three and four are gonna separate. So here we go, descending the scale, B flat, A, G, F natural, E flat, D, C, B flat, A, full stretch, G, F, E flat, uh, D, sorry, C, B flat. Here's your arpeggio. Two octaves, that was B flat. D, F, B flat, D, F natural, B flat, come on back. So you're really focusing on listening for the note that resonates so that you know you're perfectly in tune. From here, I'd like to take you through G minor form. G minor form is essentially playing B flat major scale starting on G open, ending on low two on E string. So you're starting on G, ending on G. The reason I'm calling it G minor form is you're not actually playing a harmonic or a melodic form of the scale. You're literally just playing B flat major, starting on the open G, ending on the open G. And that will help us be more consistent for the tune of catharsis itself. So here we go, G open, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F natural, G, come on back, E flat. Now I'm warmed up, now my finger position is ready to go, now I will be in tune. All right, so there is your exercise for today. So now we're building. So you should have, oh gosh, what should you have now? Um, your string crossing exercise, your first finger off exercise for catharsis, and your scale exercise. So I would actually practice in reverse. Start with your scale, then go ahead and practice catharsis without a first finger, then finish with the string crossing and then work on catharsis on its own, and you have your full practice today. We'll see you tomorrow for day four.